fact, it's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. We thought the old place was loud. Somehow this place got even louder a short time ago as the Falcons were introduced to this sellout crowd. We're set to go as the Falcons get ready to match up with the Chicago Bears. Eddie Pinheiro to kick off for Chicago. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. And that one into the end zone for an opening touchback. scrimmage and he goes down right there Danny Trevathan, on the Danny Trevathan there to bring him down as usual the hallmark of a good run defense linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage absolutely nowhere to run there now a handoff for Gurley and not much to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 he was brought down at the 26 a gain of one Brings up third down and nine. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Aaron it out, looking for... He's got a man, complete! Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. From the shotgun, Ryan. A very quick pass to Ridley. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. First and 10 at the 25-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And Gurley fumbled it. Gurley fumbles the football. It's loose. And this is picked up by the Bears. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. After all of the turnover woes that they had last week, another turnover on the first drive of the game. And when you dive into the analytics of football, it's real simple. If you're down in turnover margin, you're not going to win very many football games. The best teams always rank in the upper part of the league in terms of turnover margin. And last week's number for them was five turnovers. And as you saw, another one there. Following the fumble recovery, it's Trubisky. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. Trubisky's They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Patterson. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A gain of 13. It's a first down. A gain of 13. Always thought Allen Robinson was a high flyer from his days at Penn State, and none of that has changed with the Chicago Bears. If you throw the ball out to the perimeter, if it's a 50-50 ball, more times than not, he's going to come down with it. And some say he was the victim of some subpar quarterback play last year. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Touchdown. Mitchell Trubisky, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bears have taken the early lead. Eddie Pinheiro lining up for the... Defensively, they told us that the top priority was defending option plays this week. But here on the very first drive, the defense broke down a bit. It certainly did, and it's really not a surprise because defending option football is difficult. You have to think too much. Most of the time, you just react to what you see and you play fast. Here you're reacting, you're processing. Do I have the back? Do I have the quarterback? Who do I take? Do I take on a blocker? And next thing you know, he's in the end zone. 
Eddie Pinheiro to kick off for Chicago. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here we go. From the gun, it's Ryan. Looking deep for Julio. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there, Ryan to Jones. 42 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Looking in zone for Jones. And this is going to be intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. First down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. The first carry for the shifty Tariq Cohen. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. The tackle made at the 30. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Trubisky's pass. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Trubisky will throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And job one here, Charles. Just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Here's second and ten. Here's Gurley now, out of the gun. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. third down Ryan 
And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's looking like none on this one either. And take it right at the 35. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And the Bears take over. At their own 42. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. Brings up second and eight. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now it's Trubisky. Being chased out left. And that's going to be incomplete. Trubisky oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. First down, Bear. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And points result, we'll call this play significant. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. A loss of two. Brings up second and 12 at the 47-yard line. <laughs> On second and 12, Trubisky got a man. It's Patterson complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. 6 nothing. our score after one. Third and 11. And some extra depth to the secondary here. They're in the dime. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And he fires one that's intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field. And a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. After the interception, here's Ryan. Looking downfield for Jones. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons are an extra point away from moving out in front. He's got it, and they take the lead at 7-6. to six. Falcon 7 Bears six. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 25-yard line. Come on. 
At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Here's second and seven now from the 28. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I would think that by now, people are done underestimating Tariq Cohen because of his stature when they see him at about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, but he can do it all. He can run inside, run to the perimeter, but he also catches the ball really well out of the backfield. He had more receptions than carries last season. He kind of looks like Darren Sproles, who's been his inspiration as an NFL player. In 2018, Tariq Cohen was a pro bowler as well. And the Bears first down. First down, a run with Cohen. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. the play fake. Here's Trubisky. And it's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And he baby. takes this one back into the end zone and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. Touchdown Falcon. He is a difference maker at the linebacker position. He had a pick six last year, remember it. But it's different for those guys, isn't it, than a corner or a safety? It certainly is because sometimes they're pattern reading, seeing what the receivers are doing. Sometimes they're spot dropping, just getting to a place on the field and finding the quarterback and going to the ball. But remember this. These linebackers, at one time in their life, a lot of them were running backs. And they love having the ball back in their hands and making big moves towards the end zone. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary in that last possession, though. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 12 yards there and a first down. First down, Bears. On first down, it's Patterson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Right at midfield. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. One of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Open man there is Patterson, complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards.
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. The 11-yard line. Second and 11 now. Here's Trubisky. This pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now Trubisky to throw. Now Trubisky lost the football. And the Falcons grab it. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. 20. 10. And this is going to be brought back. It's a scoop and score for the Falcon TD. Touchdown. How about that for a momentum swing? You had a goal to go. Not only do you cough it up, but they pick it up and return it all the way for a touchdown. And now you have to give oxygen to the entire team because what a letdown that was. Terrific drive. Looked like you're going to get points. Instead, the other team registers it on the scoreboard. Coup now for the point after. And it's no good. Oh, he misses the extra point. And our score stays right where it is. Sterling Hawks. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them. <laughs> and the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler, Jr. Dante Fowler Jr.'s career has had some real twists and turns since being a first-round pick with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Remember, he hurt his knee and didn't even get to play his rookie season and has finally found his way in the league. Last year in Los Angeles with the Rams, had a career-high 11 and a half sacks. That's why Atlanta got him in the offseason. They needed to boost their pass rush, and he's the guy to get it done. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Cordero Patterson, the one he was hoping to get it to. And that'll bring up second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. It's caught. It's Miller. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 yards, a first down. 16 yards. First down, Chicago. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. This one left side, caught by Patterson. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. It's second and eight. On second down, it's Patterson. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. On the play. Brings up third down. Throwing here, Trubisky. And that is incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. No move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And he's taken down inside the 30. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. And oh, 
this is taking him one-handed. What a catch. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. The Bears first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. And he's got it. That a penalty flag down as he gets only about a yard. And let's listen in on the call. So they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. Usually going to pick up the holding call. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on, under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And he missed it. He missed it just wide of that left upright. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal, but when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. Looking deep for Julio. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. At their own 27-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try to get some points. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Trubisky to throw. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. They'll run on first down. Cohen, he's got a first down of in sub at midfield, and he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. First downs have not come easy and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. And this time they're able to bottle him up as he'll stop him at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. Second and 10. At the Falcons 45-yard line. Now it's Trubisky. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath. Nearly got picked. And they'd be lucky to have that one back. Third down. Well, coming into this one, we expected that this offense would have trouble with this defense. And that's exactly the way that this game has gone. Pressure in his face. Coverage downfield has been tight. That led to another incompletion. 
This defense, they're exactly who we thought they were coming into this one. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 35. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. First down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Trubisky. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Quick pass out to Miller. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. First down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by DeMonte Casey. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground. But despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Again, they run with Gurley. He gets it forward for four, maybe five. But the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Here's Ryan. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. Give him nine on the play, and they're going to have a third down. I know I'm one of those that overuses certain terms, and this one, explosive, is what we use for a lot of receivers, but that's Calvin Ridley. Nice catch there, and not only is he explosive, he's been very productive. Since being drafted in 2018, one of the top touchdown rates in the league as a wide receiver. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. On first down, it's Gurley. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. Jalen Johnson up to make the tackle. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. At the 44-yard line. Now on second and 13, Ryan. And this is incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And that will be incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And that one hits at the 7, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 20-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, 
It's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Second and 12 at the 18-yard goal. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Trubisky will throw. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick. And it's third down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. And shoving his way inside the 35. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. On the NFL scoreboard elsewhere, third quarter in Denver. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Ryan finding Julio out wide. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down, here's Ryan. Caught by Jones. The 20. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons will extend their lead. Young Way Koo lining up for the point after. Well, we've seen these two, Matt Ryan and Julio Jones, connect quite a few times over the years. It never gets old. It never gets old. Well, maybe for the defense it does, but not for us who are watching it. And Julio, every time he steps on the field, you can just about mark him down for 100 yards. That's about his career average per game. But think about this. Getting in the end zone has always been a struggle for him. He gets the big yardage, but he doesn't get the touchdowns. Not this time. No matter how many people were kicked in coverage, he found a way to beat it. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the event... That his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by DeMonte Casey. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Early in the ball carrier. Taken down at the 14-yard line. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. Brings up third down. Another carry now for Gurley. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. Now Ryan. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. 
Hayden Hurst, his second touchdown on the season. And the Falcons use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Trying to bust out of that losing funk, and these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility, look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And they really came together with a good week of practice. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They'll start things on first with Troy Cohen. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. At well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. Pass. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. The offense on third down tonight, three for seven so far in this game. They're looking at third and a few inches. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. It was Ricardo Allen there on the coverage. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. They're going on fourth down. It's Trubisky. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Grady Jarrett making his presence felt. He gets the sack. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. A big run there by Gurley. 43 yards. First, most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. On first and goal, Gurley. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Todd Gurley. His first touchdown of the new season as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. Fielded near the back of the end zone. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, caused all of that. it caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. He's going to loft one. And that's caught inside the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A big pickup of 38. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 25-yard line. 
Now it's Trubisky. Flush to his right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. Patterson on the draw play. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Over this size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. The Bears on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and 11. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This taken in about four yards deep. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. At their own 21-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the back and let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row. There were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Third and three. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And 11 at the 33-yard line. And they take a knee. Ryan on the keeper. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Atlanta, they're into the win column now.